inside the Niger Delta. Welcome back. In recent times, the Mbiama and Emuha axis of the East-West Road has been a source of nightmare for commuters, following an upsurge in kidnapping, armed robbery and other violent crimes perpetrated by men of the underworld in the area. In reaction to this ugly development, ex-agitators in the Niger Delta last week staged a protest along the East-West Road, disrupting free flow of traffic. The protesting youths barricaded the ever-busy Imbiama section of the East-West Road, bringing traffic to a standstill. It was an action taken to draw attention to mountain insecurity occasioned by the activities of kidnappers and armed bandits operating along the road. We decided to give people this awareness because the east-west road, the crime, the killing, the kidnapping is becoming too much. The advice I have is for reverse governor and by governor, also the federal government. They should encourage community policing and they should deploy all their military people to that route and end this, do this road as a matter of urgency. They are always kidnapping our brothers. You don't have money, go to the left. If you have money, you go to the right. That is a bad situation. They are killing our people along Rumuji, um, uh, in Dele, Elele, along the axis. What is that? Why do we have crude oil? Why are they not helping our people? What is the essence of we supporting the country? For several hours, commuters were stranded in a traffic jam. They, however, maintained that the protesters' action was within sensible limits. It's a right thing so that they can stop this killikili robbing on the road, kidnapping every day on the road. The road is not safe as at 6 o'clock in the evening, even 4 o'clock is not safe to pass every day. So if they do it now, it's a right thing just to can stop. We'll be happy, everybody will be happy, Nigeria will be happy. There is insecurity on this road. On a daily basis, our people are kidnapped, our people are killed, and government is not showing enough concern. Government should beef up the security on the East West Road. Look at this road that has been abandoned for how many years? We are suffering. And they are telling us they are, do, they are doing infrastructure. What has such a lot done? What has the Ministry of Niger Delta done? This is horrible. It's on it's on call for. In recent times, the East West Road has become a source of nightmare for road users, especially for those commuting between Ahoda and Emoa in River State. This section of the road, which is in a state of collapse, is now a safe haven for criminals terrorizing innocent travelers. I run this road um, two, twice a month, and uh, the experience we've been having for the past nine years has been so terrible. It's been so terrible. So uh, I, we, we, we ask, we, every day we pray for government to do something. The security on this road is very poor. So I will believe the government, if they put a bit of more security on this road, we are going to, they pass, the passengers will be safer while traveling. Those who commute on the east-west roads go through hell. Scared stiff to their bones. They are not even sure they will get to their destination. And we hear tales of casualties on a daily basis. Drivers are shot, people are abducted in cars, and then made to pay ransom, sometimes kept for two, three weeks. It is sad. It is depressing. And the silence of those who are in authority is most painful. Why should people be, 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 be silent over this? What is the government doing? A few days ago, a colleague of mine sent a message saying his pregnant wife has been shot. And it appears that we have no government, they are quiet about it, and the people are helpless. This is absurd. In the month of September last year, Mr. Abubakar Musa, a businessman, narrowly escaped death at the hands of armed bandits. He was attacked on his way to Port Harcourt by robbers who sprayed several bullets on his car. On my process to from a uh, small Lily down to uh, Ndili. So I now saw the roadblock along the road. So when I saw the suddenly I put my revise. As I started revising also the be following me wrong with AK two men with AK forty seven. So they now shot my front tire and almost close to the person that I carry in my front car. So but with like that I see go out and run with the a car. We come back to Ilili Shaky Point. Like Musa, hundreds of road users have been attacked, kidnapped and maimed along the MOR section of the East-West Road in the last one year. 
but not all lived to tell their stories. Last month, the River State Police Command declared a state of emergency on the Rumuji in daily axis of the road following an upsurge in kidnap activities. With the police action failing to stem the increasing tide of violent crimes along the east-west road, commuters are now calling on the governments of Bayelsa, Rivers and Aquaibom states to rise to the occasion. Bayelsa, Rivers and uh, Aquaibom should form a synergy to work ensure that the roads are clear for passenger passengers for road users to use because they are the more the people that are concerned the states that are mostly affected they should come together and form a synergy to work to ensure that the road is free what you are seeing there is not far from the fact that these are guns given to them to rig elections to fight to snatch ballot buses elections are over and they have to be busy they have to keep their perhaps the mode but the money that they were receiving is not coming again so they want to now use the opportunity to continue the criminality by attacking the lives of ordinary people and very painfully kidnapping people every day, killing people every day, raping, looting and stealing from people who do not have, who, do, who, who should have been protected by the government. The East-West Road connects all these uh, Niger Delta states and this is not something you make, you are supposed to stay only in River State or Bayesa or Delta, but something that all the states from here to Cross River to Aquaibom Delta Rivers come together and say, look, this is our problem and we must solve it. The need for immediate security action on the east-west road cannot be overemphasized as it provides the gateway to commerce and industry in the Niger Delta. Inside the Niger Delta, 